Ayers, Green, Chiazza, the officials, Xavier at 27 and 9, defeating Kennesaw State and Pittsburgh in the tournament to make it to the Sweet 16. Texas 28 and 8, defeating Colgate and Penn State in round two. We're underway. And Carr and the Horns have the ball first. Raf, take it away. Well, I give Mitchell elevate right now to match Red Hill. A little bit of it by the X-Men. To Sue. There he is. Maybe keeping an eye on him as Carr takes the pull up the jumper and hits it for Texas. Left that pin down, Grant. Pretty little set on the curl. And the boom out of the game, I think, is key. Can hit that. MG three is off the mark and the rebound long outside the hunter. And Texas wants to get up and down. Both teams high powered offense. Texas will run every opportunity. Old time religion. Oh, you're not kidding. Hey, Tim got Allen. Got some game in that lane. There's the off the glass. The shot falls out and DeSue has the rebound. For the Longhorns, and he's not running. No, not well at all. Right. No. Very ginger on that ankle. There's Carr. He's hit one already. Make it two. And he is a mid-range guy. Shoots a lot of shots in that area. So good off the bounce, Carr. First four to Texas. Nudgy's got to keep back to my thing. They got him where they want him. Boom. Gets it to him on the blocks. The suit behind him. Making him work. A little hook game. Twice now. A little easy ones around the goal. And he got the put back, though. He's had a great run this year. And DeSue's already pulling up. He's coming to the bench. That's a shame. Well, he got poked in the eye uh, on that play. Yeah. I think it's the foot. He got poked in the eye on that offensive rebound. Uh, you can certainly relate to his foot problems, right? Well, Tracy talked about a bone bruise and that's something that's incredibly scary. I know I had that problem in my career and missed a good portion of time. It looked like he just got hit in the mouth or the face there and hopefully we'll be back in for the Longhorns. Texas brings in Christian Bishop that you said probably get a lot more time wrapped. Here he is. Does a great job on the glass. They left the lob to him. Barr puts up a wild shot. Nunging has it. And it belongs to Xavier. Xavier's done a nice job early getting something around the rim. And right here, moving okay a little bit. This offense of Xavier has you moving around. Great closeout. Now that he's on the bench, see if that foot maybe tightens up or not. It'll be interesting to see if he comes back. And Kunkel very busy. There's a little play screen and then the dribble handoff, and Jones gets the ball against him. He's got some strength. He utilizes putting that shoulder down. I'm not sure that was a charge right there. But Allen was moving his feet. How about this matchup? Kunkel on Mitchell. Watch Mitchell on the glass. Carr thought about it, but with Jones there, he backs off. Low time religion. He's got a little shake and bake move. And little Adrian Dantley. Experience, yeah. There he Ooh. goes again. Puts it up, draws the foul. No, no, he fouled. I think he fouled on that play. I had charged elbow. You're right. Called on Allen. Looked like Hunter received the brunt of that left elbow. Oh my goodness, look at this. Guys Jerome Hunter. Way. He elbowed him right there, and then again it Double. looked like. Talk about old time game. That's physicality right there. And yeah, he extended that elbow. They may go flagrant one even yeah. though. Just looking to see if we've got a common foul or a flagrant foul. Right. So. <laughs> He did take the brunt of that. They're liable to go flagrant. I think you're right. In the playground, it's play on, obviously. Hunter, a tough kid, and you know, as you know, Xavier only plays about seven guys. So. And he's an integral part because he's adjusted his game. He doesn't take threes unless it's late in the shot clock. He runs rim to rim, posts up. There's a toughness about him. Of course, played in Indiana. Played for Sean's brother. Yeah, Arch. Let's see what Gene, Miller. Gene Steratore thinks about this. Was it flagrant? What do you think? You know what, Jim? I don't. Th I, I, I don't think it reaches to flagrant to me. I think he's still gathering the basketball up and attempting to make the move. It doesn't feel like a classic deliver with it. 
Although as I look at that angle, it feels like that elbow is a little more even, but I still feel like even though it's a pretty physical play, I don't think it's a common foul. 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 It's a foul. There you go. It's a basketball play. It's a common foul. Like Gene's batting a thousand in this tournament. He's always right. He's not he, that he, way when he refereed. <laughs> he's the only number one seed still alive in the tournament. <laughs> A little better match for Kumpel yeah, with the, the end of Mitchell, which I thought was really interesting. Well, Xavier has a good cut man in their corner. Yeah, they do. And now they go real small. So Jabari Rice, what a, what a talented kid. Freeze. Oh. Can't, in the lane. can't afford to lose too many bodies on the Musketeers. They only played seven last week through the first two rounds. That's pretty much their whole rotation. Just took guys off the bench. Well, Jones, the power forward right now. Nice stuck in by Nunji. Nunji with a hook. He's had too strong. He's had some good looks down low. One put back did go. He was out of bury people. Now Allen doing his thing. Great footwork. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Old time religion. I, I like the old time Adrian Dantley comparison. Who could figure out how to beat you with his footwork every time down the floor. The Notre Dame legend. Maybe pulled to really get going too. Make some threes, dribble drive. Here's Claude. Ooh, he's got a player right in his back. Yeah, that was Rice who climbed, tried to block and committed the foul. Don't worry about that right there. Jabari Rice in the air. Looked like he came down pretty hard there, elbow to the face. Well, this kid has gotten better, Claude. All course of the year, the, the shot's going to come around from three. And Rev, I'm surprised though that he didn't review that right there. Uh, we got three shots to the face already. Three minutes into the game. One to Claude, one to Hunter, one to DeSue. They got Freddy Pacheco in the audience. Yeah, we might be playing the second <laughs> half with helmets. Wow. Well, it is meaningful at this time of year. It is. They'll improve in this area, too. Only around 57% right now. Great defender, great length, Claude. Yeah, he's given them a little boost with some offense and some scoring in the last few weeks. Looking for some high low. Pretty. Park. He moves quickly. And he got it blocked. Good. He Good. got it blocked by Colby Jones, who takes off to the other end. This is a tough kid. Can make threes, can post up. Got to bail him out here. Boom, hey, hey. drives in, and the ball comes out with a foul. Let's go over to Tracy. Guys, when Dylan Dessou got hit in the face, he came down awkwardly on that left foot. He came to the bench, he threw his sneaker off, and limped to the locker room where he remains right now. I will give you an update as soon as I get it. Okay, thank you, Tracy. We didn't realize that. We saw the shot to the face, but affected his landing, and now, meanwhile, Rice of Texas has his second foul. Valuable piece to their offense in particular. Sule, boom, at the line. Material Morrison, really a nice-looking prospect. A little pull-up game. A great depth with this Texas team. Obviously, not on the interior, but multiple guys thrown in the game, can score, defend, force turnovers. And Mars one of those kids that can really explode, too. He's got great speed with the bounce. Back on the floor after getting hit in the eye. He was the second of three to take a shot. He's Hunter for Xavier. So 8-5 Longhorns in the early going. Well, Hunter's got the match now. They will ride Allen as much as they can. Tyrese Hunter really playing well of late. Iowa State transfer. Bishop challenging Nunji. Coming away with it is Hunter. A good defense by Nunji, not fouling, using his length and walling up on that play. They got to run him because fatigue could be a factor. He's got a game inside. That's the third easy one Boy, for him. He's had the looks. Meanwhile, Hunter off the floor with it, and he misses the layup also. Oh, they've had chances. Bish to Bishop, and he's got it from the other side. Bishop is a great cutter, very active. Great timing, knows how to slip. He's got the shot. Yeah, well, he's missed so many short ones, he's probably afraid to take the mid-range <laughs> jumper. I'll tell you what, this offense, Xavier, is so good during the season. But very disruptive right now defensively for Texas. Nice Here's call. Oh, he's going to also miss a short one. Nunji gets it back. Six around the rim. 
incredible. Off the foot that time of Hunter of Texas, and Allen puts it up long. They hit the floor, no call. King of the mid range. Kunkel taking off. Tough kid, he got pushed from behind Bishop. He can't afford fouls. And again, the highest remaining seed in the tournament is coach Rodney Terry's Texas Longhorns. What a job he's done this year. Long-time assistant to Rick Barnes at Texas. Yep. A couple of head coaching jobs. Fresno State and UTEP. Yep. Here's Dungy. Nice cut by Moore. That's cut off. And he steps back to shoot the jumper. All Texas underneath. They got Morris. Got to get him going, Boom. So talented. Nice hands. And stolen away by Boom. Got a three on two if he wants it. Watch Nunji. Nice move so he doesn't charge. And the baseline cut off back outside to Kunkel. Kunkel hasn't really had a catch and look yet. David, they got the one their sets here, their offense. There's Boom on the run. Just can't hit a shot right now. No. Off the floor with it is Carr. Xavier, one out of 11 from the field. In the first six minutes. Carr, there you go. Kunkel. He's going to be shooting two. Talk about a change of pace there, yep. Raph. He lipped. Kunkel hung up on that screen as well. And look uh -oh. at this. He's in a boot. He might. They haven't given us any word, but you know, it's going to be awful hard to expect we'll see any more of him tonight. Yeah, and, and I'm not surprised. I saw him in the back. He was limping pretty heavily before the game. So now here's a kid led Vandy and the SEC in rebounding. Transferred, saw him last year mm -hmm. against Oklahoma State. He was not quite on top of his game athletically. This year, a, an entirely different player. Able to move him around. Great little floater game. Uh, yeah, little flick. One hand push shot. Yeah. So efficient. He made 14 field goals against Penn State last week, which was a University of Texas NCAA record breaking, a record that was held with 12 made baskets in a game by Kevin Durant and uh, LaMarcus Aldrich. So <laughs> he didn't make much of his career. <laughs> yeah, look at those two guys. And just his last game, that's how big he came up. By the way, Tracy now just getting word he's officially ruled out for the game. A lane violation uh, enabled him to get the extra looks here. Uh, Claude jumped in. Well, Morris can really get after you. Edwards on the floor, good around the rim. Texas's defense in recent weeks has really been at a whole new level, and we're seeing it here in the early minutes. Well, help people look, 58 points. The last Wait, that block shot. Yep. Blocking the shot of Claude, and here come the horns. This kid is going to be a terrific player. Rookie of the year, the Big 12, Hunter. And the St. Catharines have received Nick Bennett, the high school coach. Shot, bouncing around and in for Carr. And that's his game right there. He can go get a bucket. And so good this year, particularly with Hunter's presence. So now him to not as, do as much, but maybe focus more on scoring. They're meshing now late in the season. Both of them have those point guard abilities. Excellent defense early here. Nice help. Almost stole. And it is. Up ahead goes Texas. They're not going to chase that one down. Cunningham picked it off the floor, but let him too much. Uh, Xavier playing in a skitterish fashion right now, but it is attributable to Texas defense. Well, they, Such an improvement. Well, they like to play fast, but Texas is speeding them up even more so. And they calm down and just trust their offense. Only made one basket in this game, one field goal, and that was the Nunji putback. They're one of 12, have missed their last eight attempts. Excellent deep string out. He's That's his shot right there. There's his three. Nice rebound. Hunter. Hunter kicks it back outside. Here's Kunkel with a catch and fire. Yes, shoot. He's got a little fire in his belly, this kid. Keeps busy. Knows how to get available. Big time delivery. Struggling. Quick shot shot. And that's blocked by Xavier. And out with it. They come with Colby Jones. Decided to take it in. The floater too strong. And Texas quickly at the other end. They will go with Dylan Mitchell's rebound. A little drop defense here in the hesitation. Carr also with a quick trip for Texas. Up ahead they go. Again, the Jones. Oh, layup for oh, Xavier oh, this time. He can be explosive. Mid game. Bangs it with a three. Some strength going to the rim. Sean is back. 
in Cincinnati back at Xavier. Six seasons in Xavier overall. Coach there from 04 to 09, returning, going back, and a lot of his friends, you know, they're not there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're all gone. They're all gone to he's, Florida. They moved to Florida. He's closer to downtown yep. where there are a bevy of restaurants. Not out in the suburbs. Yeah, he's uh, his kids are grown up. His boys, uh, of course, they were just grade school when he was there the first go around. So a little bit different, but he's thrilled to be back with the school. One boy's a lawyer, if I'm not mistaken. That's right. His oldest boy, Austin. Living up in Denver. Yeah, with his other sons, uh, Cam and Braden. Here they go with that mid-game. Uh, that's a pratfall, a little bit of a pratfall, I thought. Maybe he did get nicked on the way down. We got another commercial right after that. That was a timeout before by Texas. This is the under 12 timeout. Well, one thing for sure, things have been breaking bad for the high seeds in this tournament. And Texas, as a two, is the best remaining, but they've got one of their star players out for the game, Dylan DeSue. But we've got to talk about the job that Coach Terry has done since taking over for Chris Beard uh, in early December. And he has not been named anything other than the interim coach to this point. Crap. 21 and 7 as the head coach, I believe. Uh, just an outstanding job. Watching the workouts the last couple of days, players' reaction, they get it. They do their job, and they're responsive. Well, what's, what's impressive, too, he's handled that adversity. So now the adversity of the Sioux out, he will have his guys mentally and emotionally still ready to try to win this game. Xavier, a little double up on Boom. Look at this snap passing. Number one team in the country as far as assists. Oh, not a good pass there. Too close to one another. That Texas defense has been smothering of late, showing it here early. Carr driving on Kunkel. Short. Almost rolls in. Tap around by Bishop, but into the hands of Xavier's Jerome Hunter. And Jones not on the floor where they get scoring. It's got to be Nudgy or Kunkel. Got to keep busy. And good seal. And right there around the basket, he still can't buy one. Humble. He just put his hands up. Averages 14 a game, and he's had so many good looks. He's one out of eight from the field. There's a layup again. Delivery for Texas is Tyrese that's Hunter. What, that's what those great. guards do, right? Love to bounce. A great curl yeah. and hesitation right there, too. Nungie's number is 0 for 2 from 3, but 1 for 6 on the other shots right around the basket. That's Gonkel. And that was Hunter. Great screener. Sealed his band beautifully. That's one of the major parts of their offense. Read the drive and controlling the low post. Got kind of bodies colliding over here. I think Claude trying to blow up the... The dribble handoff. Folks, tune in to Inside March Madness and check out the play of the day. Presented by the Buick Encore GX. And not much rest for Jones. Too talent, talented. I know Mark Partner does a lot of NBA jobs. I think he'll be seeing Colby. Oh, I like this kid. Very versatile. Does a lot of things for this team on both ends. And We'll need to play big here tonight. Nice show. Boom back on the floor. They got to get him going. Funny, if one of those guys brings hustle, works on the glass for Texas. Five Ooh, to shoot. Here's Carr. Leaning in the Conco, no call. Two to shoot. Lost it. Yes! Oh, man! Divine intervention. And Jones back. No. Xavier has had so many shots that failed to drop from close range on another three. No. And nice job on the defense. Went under and then attacked. Colby. That was for Texas. Morris. Got the open look. A tough kid. And a good look for Kunko. He's picking up now for the Longhorns. Up by eight. Cunningham. He'll fire. Picked up by Colby Jones. Nunji plays a lot of minutes, gets a little fatigued. That's part of the problem, I think, around the rim. He just needs to see the ball go through the basket, get some confidence going. And look who's on him, too. Cunningham has got to bring him inside. With the size of this match, but he's staying on the perimeter. 
Nice pass. Beautiful. And the dunk delivered by Jerome Hunter. Always gets available. Smart kid. Ways adjusted his game to coaching. No bad shots. There's Texas driving in. And off the glass, Cunningham comes in to get it. That's what he does. All the dirty work. And now AT&T 5G takes us above the rim for one of the best plays so far. And right here, beautiful play. It wasn't a pass. Actually, Carr went behind him and tapped the ball. Knocked it out. And obviously, Hunter in the right place at the right time. You'd be begging for an assist on <laughs> you, that. You want to give Punko an assist on that? <laughs> Got it. They, they gave it to him. Oh. He's had a matchup with bigger people. This time, Rice, who can elevate over. Yeah, nice oh, rebound oh, by oh. Allen. So good around oh. the Look at this rebound pulled down. That was Edwards coming in to get it. Yeah, they need Boone to get going. This kid's had a great year. Look at they call that all the time once you turn and put the shoulder in. They are speeding them up a little bit, don't you feel? They are. And this is the second charge that was drawn right here. And Hunter getting to that spot, although. Tell you what, were, I, you know, <laughs> feet were moving a little bit there, but. Gene, Gene didn't have a play on on that one. But they certainly are speeding up Xavier. Xavier not running their sets. They kind of wear you down with their execution, but right now Texas is wearing them down with their defensive pressure. Yeah, boom so far in this game. Two free throws, that's it. Hasn't made a basket. Here's that dive play they like to run to a ball screen. Nice pin and curl. Boy, they do a good job. Don't they grant on that? Back out they go to Allen and back to Rice. He's got to be careful with a small chance foul. They got him. What a drive that was. He's an offensive machine, this kid. It's 13 a game, big time threes. Got a great shot fake. Has a great pace and tempo to his game. Did Second foul on Kunkel. Big Colgate game, right? Maybe seven threes? He did, yep. Serge Jabari at the line, graduate of New Mexico State. Three time all whack. From the Houston area, I'd love to go home next week. Fort Bend Marshall High School. A lot of people consider him to be the Division I sixth man of the year. The things he's done, yeah. bringing 13 points a game off the bench. He embraced that role this season. And they watched every game he played before they had him rec uh, recruit into the program. He's got a little personality, Mis mismatch shoes. I saw that. <laughs> a little rainbow look. I've done that many times myself, by accident. <laughs> uh, bad night, huh? <laughs> yeah. Or a good night. Depends how you look at it. Jones, stop. Rice is on him, won't give him the shot. Boom, with seven to shoot. Next time. What a block by Hunter of Texas. What a defensive possession by Texas. Yeah, boom. But not the strength to turn the corner. Give it up outside, Bishop. He's got a little bounce and hook game. And here it comes. Oh, oh what a <laughs> shot. Both ways. He's strong. Pretty good around the rim. Texas doing well without Dessou. Only won a couple of minutes in this game. Unable to go with the bone bruise. Where do you go but offensively right now? I think Jim. Jones has to get going. Yeah. Dump pass, they got it to him. He lays it in. Great cut. Step and go. Hunter dropping it. And what you consider Xavier started one out of 13 from the field and only down six. Well, we'll see. It felt like it could have been much higher than that. Edwards is pretty strong in here and he can elevate. Bishop again drawing the foul. Well, Rodney said other guys are going to have to step up. Uh, some guys are. It's a car show. <laughs> the elegance. Marcus Carr of Texas lighting it up. His team is shooting so far only 26% from the field. Nunji has six rebounds, but again, he's one of eight from the field. Texas has Bishop at the line right now. Very encouraging for the Musketeers. Only down six. Not played well, not been efficient from... 
in the interior offensively, but Texas doing a great job, but not a lot of separation here early. Nunji last week was 12 out of 22 from the field. Yeah, the first and second rounds. I'm sorry, Jim. He put a shooting display on yesterday, right? Yeah, he did. In their drills. I think fatigue's part of it. Well, six and a half to go in the first half. You know, he can start hitting a couple shots and the confidence begins to soar. Who knows? Texas defense, though, has been mighty impressive. But Jones got those two fouls. The other end's got to be careful with a clever Allen. He has to guard. Claude trying to get into the box, and there's Texas again defending. Cunningham up ahead. And is dodged by Rice. What a play by Cunningham. He deflected it, pushed it, and a nice finish. Rice is nice. Jones, they continue this perimeter passing. Wait to set it up down low. They got Nunji. Very they good want here. Him. Good hook. Hit some shots, and there it is. Uh, that a rear right hit. And he can get bit. that. He can get that any time. All time. Right? No size. And Texas not double teaming thus far, so taking advantage inside. The transfer from Iowa. Doing what he's been doing most of the season on that possession. Now Rice. Texas lays it in. He's a good offensive player, isn't he? Oh. Clever. Dipsy do under the outstretched arm of Nunji. Jones tries the three. It's not there. They're trying to get Nunji set up. Maybe a quick jack hurt. Not known for zone, but we may see some eventually by Xavier with the play. That's a from Carr, and Bishop finishes it off. A timeout called by Miller. That's his game. He did it at Creighton. He has a great feel and sense of timing. The pass on the money. The big fella, number 30, crowned this bishop. Big time finish. Send it in, number 32. Rodney Terry, his guys call him RT. Yeah. <laughs> They're a little upset that we took their hotel. Right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but they've got three coaches on the bench. They've been head coaches. Donna Wall, of course, Ogden, and McLean. They've been around those guys. Great contributors to helping them. A lot of assistance there. lungie has got to get a touch. Look at the disparity in size. Outside the Kunkel. Goes back to the corner. And Jones, tough shot. Tapped around by Carr, tapped around again, and it's picked up by Bishop. And Raph, you talk about Nunji inside, but Allen doing a great job of fronting the post, making it difficult for Xavier to find Nunji inside. Last eight points by Texas have come from the bench. Here's Carr, a starter. Oh. Two more. Well, we saw him do it in Minnesota. He can light it up, and he misses in the middle game, too. He is tough off the bounce and the body control. Critical time right here. He has not been able to get going, Boom. Boom has not hit a shot from the floor. Meanwhile, Carr comes up. He's got 13 to lead Texas. And Boom, five times player of the week in the Big East. Big Creighton game, mid-range in threes, but he's been a struggle. But how about this? Stop, control. That's like a Jordan discard against Utah. That was special. Yeah. <laughs> that kid right there is special. You mean Jordan or Carr? <laughs> Both. Both. <laughs> Carolina kid. I don't know if you knew that. Jordan. From where? <laughs> Because of this be, defense. You might say Texas has lowered the boom. Uh -huh. He's unable they have so to far. get going. And uh, you would have known, right? He's no rest for the weary. And I'm not sure he'll get much rest, but it's been benched as Xavier has. Well, he's uh, averaging 16 a game. He's 0 for 4 from the field. Here he is now. Get it over to Kunkel. Back out to boom. There Trying to get off a shot. On the run he goes. Still can't find one. Good look. Couldn't beat it. Rebound by Bishop, who grew up right here in the area of Kansas City at nearby Lee's Summit. They're so good using their center. Keep the guy on their hip. Hard. Talk about keeping someone on his hip. They did that a lot with Boom on that. Oh, look at this. Too easy. Wow, what a shot. Well, right there, Nunji playing the alley-oop as Bishop rolled to the rim. Just created an easy to the basket there for Carr. Carr, a 2,000-point career score 
having played previously at Minnesota and at Pitt. Here's Kunkel's three. That game's good to go. And boy, that was pretty good defense by Carr as well. But you're right, that drop defense. We got to contain the bounce on those ball screens out high. I would even go under since they're such middle guy. They go to zone. When you say maybe 20 times this year, they went to his zone. There is Carr. And tapped around by Bishop to keep it alive. I think it was out of It was on the line. He can make some threes, though. Right here, dribble handoff. And as you said, that drop coverage. Carr able to just waltz his way to the basket. But you're right, they use it big so well up at the top. The dynamic play of Carr. So much pressure on the defense. Kunkel on the drive. He is a tough kid. There was a football player, a little dig. Gets him to the free throw line. Coming up, AT&T at the half. First half analysis. And an update on Princeton and Creighton. With Creighton right now up seven early second half. Plus the latest NCAA tournament news. That's all coming up on AT&T at the half. i got to say this. I mentioned earlier, there are ten teams still alive. We'll have eight by the end of the night. Three of the ten are from the Big East. Xavier here, UConn making it to the Elite Eight last night. Great in playing against Princeton at the moment. It's so. been a very competitive league. And Kunkel, by the way, had a hurt in the ribs. Here's a little deflection. I mean, Raph, you know, my dad played football. You never said I was tough <laughs> back in the day. Well, your dad was tough. <laughs> I think knows you, you did, too well, huh? I, I think you uh, chose the correct sport. Oh, uh, I think you're right. We're looking forward to seeing him, hopefully, in yeah, Houston. Yeah, we'd love to see Calvin here. Nice G with the three. And that's going to be off Colby Jones. Nunji, he said he can hit that three shot, but the three ball tonight, 0 for 3. And Xavier's getting good looks inside, outside. They just can't convert. And you have to think at some point as a player, it starts getting into your head as you start to struggle. And that 2 3 zone we mentioned is where you can get it back, though, get some confidence. Obviously, some offensive rebound could be key. There he is. What a great look by Allen. But yeah, we know he can see. He's got the goggles on. Yeah, Bishop great has pass. been set up twice now. Once an alley-oop, and that one for another dunk for him. He's having a big night. Ten points for Bishop. Go with five rebounds. Texas with 22 points in the paint. Dungey on the go, and he's got free throws coming. A wide open delivery there. I'll tell you, Allen's like one of those guys in the park that's 30, just beating the heck out of the 17 year olders. <laughs> you got it, kid. He knows how to play. Pass. He's, uh, again, 10 points, five rebounds, and two great cutaways. So far in this game, all smiles. <laughs> Filling up the stat sheet. No question. They should count, you know. I mean, we like it when these guys bring a little bit of that personality. On a night like this in the Sweet 16, Nunji barely grazed the front of the rim with that one. He's struggling right now. He, he, he's fatigued, too, yep. in fairness. I mean, he's got to do a lot of things. I mentioned uh, all the injuries in the tournament because that Fremantle, a key part of this team, not here at all. They used to love to play high-low. Both of them could make threes. Both could post up. Both pass well. And he got the second one. Gives him five for the game with six rebounds. Xavier can, can get some stops here and execute, trying to get this lead to 10 going into halftime. Well, the playmakers at the foul line, they get it to him. Good decision, generally. Morris with a wide open look here. And that's Gunji boxing out Cunningham. And still in time with this zone. You gotta wait for Nunji. Jones, no whistle, tries to flip it to save it. It's right into the hands of Morris, who will put up the shot short. What a good job defensively by Kunkel without fouling. And now Boog has played the entire way, 0 for 5 from the field. Not able to turn the corners in that physicality. Jones, top of the key. Trying to get closer. Kunkel from the logo. Handles out. Who's there, though? Nunji. And one. Oh, my goodness. Somehow he got that one to go. A great, great effort. Great hustle to get under the rim. And Kunkel, a deep one from the logo. We're seeing a lot of that lately, huh? The last night, for example, but soft enough to be retrieved by the big fella. 
course, the weakness for Texas with the suit out of the game and obviously Bishop on the bench now. Nunji on the offensive glass. He's kind of chipping away here at this lead. Get a little bit of momentum, something to feel good about if you're Xavier going in to halftime. Nunji, the Iowa transfer, who's finishing up his MBA at Xavier. Grant thinks he's got a future the way he can shoot the ball. Pick and pop can shoot it. Hasn't shown it here tonight, but I think he has a bright future. So far, hasn't shown it. But that was a heck of a play right there to get the three-point play. And the Longhorn lead, which was 17, is down to 11. Hunter, open. Got Big time shot. Kid stuff. Again, they're playing much better late in the year from what I've seen. Doing a bunch of Big 12 games. Watch this Texas team. They have grown. This defense. 18 seconds to go in the half. A nice double to get the look. Claw tries to get the pass over. Out of bounds with 12 and 7 on the shot clock. A nice denial by Mitchell, huh? Right over the top. We've been contested. And right here, a little nylon. Get those puppies organized. Texas makes a quick sub here. They bring back Morris to the floor. In for Carr. To loop someone to the goal. It might be Hunter. Get boom free and then go to the rim. Get it into boom. Five to shoot. Hunter on him. Three to shoot. Two to shoot. Better hurry. Better hurry. Got it off just in time. Rebound and comes out to Texas. Got now it. he heaves his chance. Oh, he did it. That's out of his range, Jim. Oh wow, Texas. What an exclamation point to the first half. That's his third made of the year. A middle game. Banging it. Big time kissing KC. And off the wrong foot. Too. How about that? Unbelievable. He is a gamer. You can see when it left his hand and it had a chance. And is right in the window. And down she goes for the three to close out the half. Let's go to Tracy. It's been textbook right now, guys. I mean, just to see this defense, they talked about transition defense in yesterday's practice, getting out to shooters, but so disruptive. Fun to watch. <laughs> it's impressive. They're, they're just actually, the time. they're just checking to make sure the left is hand in time, and it did. One cursory look at it, and it will go down. There's a great shot to close out the half. Texas holds Xavier to 27% shooting. All right, thank you, Trace. There was a little brief scrap before the teams went to the locker rooms. I think there was some confusion which one of the teams didn't know which ramp to take out off the court to the locker room and come to mix it up with one of the Texas players. It was reviewed, and they let it go. Very fortunate for Xavier. Xavier now. Open up the second half. They need Boom and Nunji to get going a little bit. Yeah. Grant, you were talking about how they made a comeback already in this tournament. Double digits down. Hey, oh, good one here. Well, they, you know what? They chucked the cutter, Nunji. And Jim, to your point, yeah, they were down Kennesaw State the first round. Went on a 15-0 run midway through the second half. They trailed in 13 at the time. So this team is capable, but. Texas is looking really Their good. Their defense good. And then Xavier went to 2 3 zone against Kennesaw, too. No, here's Conco. Good to knock him down. Conco with the three to open up the half. And this is a classy group, by the way. And they are tough minded kids, well coached. There's that snake dribble. Well, everybody loves this little play. Allen throws it there for a moment. Down low in the shot clock. Beautiful move. And they do a great job with their bigs. Dribble handoff. So hard to defend. And with Hunter and Carr, so good at getting to the basket. In the paint, there's a reach around foul on Mitchell of Texas. Mitchell didn't get many minutes, but here's this little handoff you're talking about. But how about the finish with some strength and traffic on the scrape? First foul on Mitchell. 
who in that first half played only six minutes. To your point, Ramp. Big time recruit, Jim. Yeah, fourth ranked fourth in the recruiting class last year. Of course, McDonald's High School All-America. And the more you watch him, he's got to work on his shooting, too. From Florida. Tampa. He would bring it up. Shot short another. Nice hustle, Hunter. One that Xavier can't get to fall, but back out they come. Something at the rim. And this guy's good at attacking, too. Good strength. Nice entry. Now it's on the floor. Three to shoot. Ooh, double dribble. Jones has to put it up. Are they going to stay here? What a break. I have been barely, yeah. barely beat the shot clock. Oh, and they get a foul call on Texas. CBS Sports Galazzo Network is a first of its kind free channel dedicated to global soccer coverage. Find it on the CBS Sports app, Pluto TV, and Paramount Plus launching on April 11th. Third foul on Bishop. So you got three on Carr, three on Bishop of Texas. They're really ready for that out of bounds, but he looked to get comfortable to look at the corner. He drives, gets freedom, puts up the shot and hits it. Good, good move right there. Not a foul. He didn't extend his right arm, so good play. Kunkel coming out here at halftime and bringing some fight on the offensive end. He'll, He'll bring lead. that. He leads the Musketeers with 13 for the game. Help. He needs a little help, though. They're in trouble. It's got to be the guards around. There's the guards. Look at Hunter. He's twice done that already in the half. He can make some shots, can he? Looks so much different than earlier in the year. Nine points on the game. Bounce pass. Got away from him. Great change of pace. And look at this. The size right there. Going against the taller and stronger Hunter. It's just a great use of that dribble, strength, touch. Obviously, Carr got them going early in the first half, and now Hunter taking his turn here in the second. He was in the Sweet 16 last year, was Hunter, for Iowa State, and got knocked out in this very round as he puts it up, not this time. Got knocked out by Miami. Really mm -hmm. out right now, really struggling. Trying to find something, trying to look nice high-low here. The Nunji. Oh, goodness, again. That has been such a big part of the story. Just those one-footers stays at this end. He's got that bubble on the rim. <laughs> this rejecting everything. You also have to give credit Texas, their defense. I mean, they swore. It's like a surge. <laughs> and Dutchie's not one of those guys that can just go up and dunk it either. He needs a little space to do that. So you got Kunkel, who's made five out of seven. The rest of the team is six for 32, under 20 percent. And they turn it over as he was driving in and got away from Colby Jones. Here's the outside shot. No. On the other end, they ran a double for Kunkel, but blown up by great Texas defense. Give it to Nunji. Nunji's got Allen. Hunter on the way in, hacked. Now they'll compete. Nunji inhaling out there, too. Going up and down, it's tough. Second foul on Dylan Mitchell. They got Boom sitting down at the moment. He, it's the second straight game in the tournament where he was scoreless in the first half. Play the entire first half. Get complete coverage of the NCAA Division I women's tournament on NCAA.com. So he's back out there. Sule, boom, for Xavier, and maybe he can get going. He's clearly due. Averages 16, Jim, and shoots at a 44 mm -hmm. and 41 from three. They've taken him completely out of the game. Too important to the Musketeers. Well, there's a guy on that other bench that knows about his game. He played two years for Coach Terry at UTEP. So he knows how to guard him, you're saying? That's, it appears that way. That's a pretty good backcourt guys who can tee it up. This kid's an offensive machine. Rice, nice. that is. Bringing it off the bench. Once again, he can, I think they learn a lot from Allen. They really do. He can make threes, Rice, but a little, little game there. The professor teaching him. Nunchi stops his dribble and has to give it up. Nice slip. 
Inside they go, and he flips it in. They do run some great stuff. Nice pass by Jones. Finally made it down there. Yeah. Again, they're going to that zone just to buy some time. Like Allen there in that sweet spot in the middle. Hunter got it from wow. three. Wow. Big Hunter on the sides. <laughs> Big one there in the first half, too, against that zone. I'm just trying to buy time with it, but the counters are too good. Boom. Puts it up. On the board for the first time from the field. Uh, maybe a little rest, a little talking to. Built that confidence. He's had a great year. After missing his first six. With a shoot, he drags people. Ooh. He does that little crap fall there. Go the, the other back. way. Mitchell's going to be his third. Uh, Tyrese, you mentioned from Iowa State, via Wisconsin, drilling it deep. The guards on fire. We're on it. A Michigan man, of which he wasn't, by the way. Well, that was the famous Bo Schimbecker yeah. saying to Bill Frieder when reports were out that he was going to, at the end of the year, take a job at Arizona State. He said, we're going to be coached by a Michigan man in the tournament. He made that change. And what a run he had. And he got his fingerprints on this San Diego State program. His longtime assistant, Brian Dutcher, knocking out the overall number one seat of the tournament tonight, San Diego State over Alabama. These are guys are going to have to ride right now. Nice to know. Boy, they are right there. Pressure D, you've got to loosen it up with a back cut. Well, we, they had this kind of energy yesterday just in their practice. We were here for two hours. I mean, they, they were just relentless. They were, and really, Rodney Terry, their coach, I mean, he has so much energy. This team really embodies his energy and spirit, but well, not giving up on anything this Texas defense. Now look at how they show a little bit. String it out, nice string here. Ooh, good look, too, just come up empty. And Texas comes out with it. Once again, it's Cunningham. Looks like they're going straight man now. Oh, good pass. A little late, Edwards on the follow. Cunningham misses the shot, and it's going the other way. It's funny how the players want, want them to look, and it's only the last two minutes of the game. <laughs> well, this is one, an easy one for them. Well, yeah, yeah, no, it looked like it was all for yeah. Xavier right there. Yeah, all by Colby Jones. <laughs> well, Texas has had this comfortable working margin for a while. There's boom. Puts up there another one. He's a different player. Well, this kid's got two, by the way. He's got some talent, Jim, as you and Grant well know. Uh, when he is down, it's a different look for Xavier. A little guard around play. They love to run and one. Oh, that's going to fall. How about the handoff by Allen? That's one of their horns set. They run a lot of things off that. The cross screen, the loop over the top, the little give, and the ability to use that offhand and favorable little spin. Boy, Hunter is having a big second half for Texas. When they keep their bigs lifted like that, there's no help. He's able to turn the corner there with ease, but a lot of dribble handoffs with their bigs. And he shares. Well, no, he's actually one behind Carr's total. Shot again up close. Nice hustle by Edwards. And Dungey getting some needed rest. Gonna step the tide here with an attack off the bounce. Automatic switch. Nice oh. play. Two to shoot. Jones got it to go. Nice play. Good recognition, too. Well, so much, though, of Xavier's offense is really a lot of dribble penetration and drive and make something happen. They're not running their sets because of this defensive pressure. They've hit six out of 12 in the first, the second half. That's only just 27% in the first half. That's that cross screen they like to run. Cunningham underneath and has to work it back outside the car. Watch the shot fake. Offensive machine, this kid. Fade away. Oh, yes. run front. Dirk is in the building. Like a little Kevin Durant action right there. <laughs> Speaking of famous Longhorns.
Boom. They got a screen, but that was not a big offensive threat. Unless he's around the rim. Nice step back. And his own turnaround. There you go. There's the guy. They recognize him now. They got a little conversation going on between Cunningham and Hunter. They're going to bring Nunji back onto the floor. It's Coach Sean Miller. They got to space him, right, Grant? Watching him in the timeout. He was exhausted. Kunkel goes out. Gives Xavier credit. They're showing a little bit of fight here. 14 yeah, points. Don't we'll go away. Slowly chipping away here. They go back to that 2-3. You got to find Hunter and Carr and Allen. Rice. And Allen, of course, in the middle here. We can do, do so much damage. Allen. Nice pass. pass. Underneath Cunningham. The shot's not there, so Carr takes it and hits it again. And Ram, they're just picking apart at that zone right there. Tissue paper. Nice and taken away by Texas. Bounce pass. What a pass to Rice. Oh, he lost, lost it on the way. He just misstepped. Almost looked like he was hurt. Yeah. What a great look, though. Just mistimed it. Yeah. Well, they got what they want with Nunji if they can get a good angle. Now you got to clear. Nunji. Air ball. Texas again comes out. Watch the wing for Carr. How about the pull up for Hunter? Yeah, why not? <laughs> How about it? Either guy. Pull up three by Hunter. Oh, if it's not Hunter, it's a car wreck on the wing, right? The way yeah, he can exactly. shoot. Exactly. There's TJ Ford, Texas legend who took him to the Final Four back in 2003. What a second half, though, by Tyrese Hunter, and the Horns are up 20. Well, Scotty style, whatever that is. Firecracker shrimp, tortilla soup. And then, Raft, you get a choice of uh, Texas ribeye steak or blackened redfish with a little warm chocolate chip skillet cookie for dessert. Is there any libation involved? <laughs> <laughs> I think there will be some wine for Apple it. lemonade. Yeah. Otherwise, you're not coming. Is that no, right? Not showing. All right. Masters coming up just uh, two weeks away. But We've got a lot of thrilling basketball still to be played through April 3rd. As Nunji's going to fire up the three. And oh, that one looked like it was going to drop. Well designed out of the timeout. Texas again inside. The foul called as Allen was going up for the shot. Texas on a torrid pace from the start. Most among major conferences, almost 28 a game. 18 to 1 advantage today. They are deep, and uh, the zone has had very, well, no impact, basically. And Roly Massimino used to, he loved man to man like Sean does. And if he went the zone, he used to call it hands up, Harry. <laughs> like, <laughs> just put your hands up and move, wave a little bit. Well, and right now they're just destroying it. Well, the zone is supposed to slow down the opponent. It's almost like Texas. They're just having target practice with that rim against Re that zone. Rev them up. Texas is led wire to wire. Allen has eight points with five rebounds, a couple of assists. They're doing this without Dylan DeSue either. I mean. And he set out three of the games, I think, in the Big 12 tournament, Allen, uh, with a lower leg problem. Boy, it's paid off. He's ready to go now. Traveling call against Xavier. And Rice again with Kunkel. Uh, they talked to Kunkel before the end of the half about taking it easy. He is some competitor. He's got to be careful. Well, Kunkel actually got tripped up by Rice, which caused that turnover by Boom because Kunkel fell down. And then the frustration. You got Allen over here encouraging the Longhorn faithful to rise. And Texas. Having its way. They've gone wire to wire, as I mentioned. Second half, they haven't turned it over. Saber has four times. There's that curl and dribble handoff. They got a blow by here. Oh, he's fouled on the way, and you might have seen that one coming. Yeah, Kunkel just not doing the right thing. I love his competitiveness, exactly, but. Uh, yeah, just got embarrassed. A little lingerie on the deck here with the foot speed. Oh, showing some talent on the offensive end. That's just unnecessary. 
As much as I like his competitive zeal, he just can't do that. This is going to be called a flagrant one, I believe. Unnecessary contact, flagrant one foul. There you go. Uncle's been smiling about it since he committed that foul. And Roger Ayers on top of it. And right here, you're. Found him twice. Exactly. And then Dungey coming over a little bit late to help out. Doesn't have enough foot speed to dig. Yeah, this has been lingering for a while. And both of these players who had that little brush before the end of the half, I'm not sure they're done yet. And this was earlier. This is it. This is right before the end of the half. Mitchell ran in. It was Mitchell ran into Conkle. Conkle wants all the smoke. Yeah. That was going to the locker rooms at halftime. Got to play with dignity, though. It's Cunningham. Draws in and Nunji rejects it. But they're a foul call on the center of Xavier. His third. And Rab, this is the, a wonderful spirit about this Texas team. All this talent, but they enjoy one another. They play for one another. You saw that yesterday on display of practice. Coach Terry leading this ball club, but impressive to see them in person. How they defend and how they enjoy this game. And just sharing and sharing, the, you know, sharing the joy. I mentioned Allen didn't play in that tournament, the Big 12 tournament. He was on the bench cheering, supporting, involved. And just to add on to what you're saying, and this is a tight group that's deep and talented without the Sue as well. Goodness. And Bishop was able to hit the floor in the second half, as I recall. There's Kunkel. Nice slip to Nunji. And he got it. Nice play. They do run some great action. Well, this is a Xavier team, Raft, that averages 81 points a game out of the Big East. Number one scoring team in the league. Another team that really does pass the ball great. 19 assists a game. They average. Number one in the country. Here's Allen's jumper. Oh, yeah. Listen, I think that big to big, you got to switch that. That dribble handoff. Just executed that. To really getting anything they want on the offensive end, Texas. Kunkel takes it right over Rice. Kunkel now. 16 scoring honors on the Xavier side. Xavier going back to this yeah. zone here. He's not really served well this game. And they've just taken advantage, particularly on the foul area and ball movement. And they got a clock issue. Game clock is still going. And right now, Texas, you have four shooters out there on the perimeter and then Allen and his decision making abilities at that free throw line. I don't know how you defend that. No, it's unfair. Five Longhorns and double figures as the officials go to review this. Allen's been around. Let's see what if the shot clock was late to start. It was. The shot clock. Should have uh, started about three or four seconds earlier. When I said it's unfair, he's played over 152 games in college. Mm. Wow. <laughs> 152. Wow. You know, I'm looking at some of these wins this year, guys. By by Texas, they had a, a they call it an exhibition game, so they didn't count on their record. But they beat Arkansas by 30, beginning of the year. They beat Gonzaga by 19, team that's still alive. They beat Creighton, the team that's still alive, by five. They had Kansas with two wins late in the year, including here in Kansas City in the conference tournament final, but they beat it by 16 and 20. Beat Baylor, right? They beat, they won at, at, at Kansas State, which is still alive. Right. So, yeah, Baylor, you've got some incredibly high quality wins as Rice loses it. Nope, he got fouled by Kunkel. Yeah, Kunkel on the dive. 
That's his fourth. Yeah. And Rice, of course, providing always that firepower off the bench, helping leading that bench margin 21 1. Texas. Tuesday, April 4th, the chase is on three teams, one big night. The FBI's global crossover event, Tuesday, April 4th on CBS, and streaming on Paramount Plus. Join the chase, follow the FBI's on Instagram. They're still guarding, boy. They are out in the passing lanes. Nanji. Hits the three. It's part of their game. 15 points now on six of 18 from the field. And that's what you should switch to, I think. Oh, with 10 rebounds. Texas. Well, yep. Texas with this lineup, they can switch everything. Yeah. Ooh. Hunter on the drive, and it's going the other way. First half, Hunter defensively was able to draw fouls like that defensively, but boom, getting his body in position. Even though down big, still playing hard defense, sacrificing his body. Those guards are strong, too, <laughs> on Texas. I mean, they hold on to that ball. Coming back on the court, Arterio Morris, freshman from Dallas. The big time recruit. Good speed, good bounce. Same play as earlier. Nice hands. To Watch this. Carr taps it. They went over the back like that. They're going to call it on him, yes. Looked like Carr tried to climb the mountain. Climb the right mountain. <laughs> third, no third toll foul. on that mountain. Third foul called on Carr. They had one of his foul calls earlier changed and, and then given to Allen. So it's just number three here on Marcus Nunji at the line. With a double double. Oh, that's woefully short. Oh, Hunters can't be running back. He must have come down in an awkward way. That's uh, Jerome Hunter of Xavier. Who became the starter when Zach Fremantle, we haven't talked about Fremantle going out with the foot surgery. Uh, late in the year, and what a difference that's been to this team. That, that, that's what's amazing about how they finished the year without him. Yeah. Well, especially Jerome Hunter, who big game, 24 points, career high against Kennesaw State. Kind of weird on that free throw. And there's that little throw. Look at the slip. Bishop, did he walk? No, he did. No, he traveled. Gotta walk. You're yep. right, Jim. You got to walk first. They're pretty well defended. Like Boom was in the restricted. No, he was out of it. Definitely the there. Overload right. And pressure in the ball. <laughs> Catching it at half court. Great defensive night for this team. Boom. Oh, 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 walk, but, uh, good shot. Yeah. Boom. Putting it up in the second half after his scoring absence in the first. Ten points for Boom. I think he got a sympathy vote on that drive. <laughs> yeah. He hasn't missed from the field four for four since halftime. And there's Bishop taken off on Nunji. He got it up high enough to score it. All that movement going on. Pin downs wide open in the lane. Bishop. Nunji doing a nice job sealing off. Ball was on the deck. Boom. Goes back outside. Kunkel able to get there. Nice replace. Boom. Drives. It's going to be a foul call on Hunter of Texas. Longhorns, though, they have been in good form and good spirits tonight, trying to get to the regional final in a matchup with Miami on Sunday. He would have laid off guarding him so tough. <laughs> <laughs> Loves him like a son, teaching him some tough love. <laughs> now they have gotten into faces and passing lanes and containment. Terrific. 
performance on the defensive end. And how does Shake in a way with the Sioux, you find it out immediately he's not going to play. But they must have felt that he wasn't going to be able to contribute much. Or also this team just an experienced bunch, a mature bunch. But they did not look rattled at all without their big fella. That's off Texas. 152 yep. games. Rice bounces back off the bench onto the floor. He's had another usual great game off the bench with 11. And those solid numbers he averages all season long. A couple more to come. And Jim, I was a, I think you were too impressed with the coaches at Bob yesterday. Bob Donovan was the offensive guy. He's been playing the defensive guy. Both have been head coaches. Because Nunji has to tap it to save it. Well, those assistants have made a big difference too. Kind of short. But off the floor with it is Claude. Just keep playing. That's what you have to do. Well, they were down. Largest deficit was 24. It's 15, but only six and a half to go. And man, they got away from the zone. It's been a double digit lead since the five and a half minute mark. First half. Nice pass. There is Bishop. We have seen that drop defense, right? You're caught as a big guy. Should I play the dribbler or the lock guy? There's a rebound by Bishop at the other end. Iso right here. Barb. Oh, got left alone somehow. Great spin move. Couldn't convert, but. Last touch by Nunji. We'll be down to the Elite Eight. Tomorrow we'll punch two tickets to Houston in the Final Four as we whittle it down. The wardrobe must be doing a great job with Jay's outfits. He finally looks good in the suit. <laughs> Far looking for a little seam and finds it. Puts it up. Doesn't have the proper spin. I got Nunji with a grab. It's a good defense there by Colby Jones on that drive attempt by Carr. Inside. Those two been battling. Ooh. Ooh, a little more than a hole. Yeah. Dislodged him there with that left arm. I think that's what you do when you're a little bit tired, too, don't you? Tired and frustrated. Nunji's going to head back to the bench with his fourth foul. Looks like me after a night out with Raz. Yeah. <laughs> Some things never change. Well, if you want to play, you got to pay. <laughs> you got to play hurt. Yeah. It'd be interesting. I think Nunji may be capable of another year. But that's COVID. Do you think he's got a chance? Well, he's finishing up an NBA. He does have another, if he wants it, that extra year. Look at that by Rice. Oh, what a steal. That's your sixth man, too. Nice. So fast. Frisky out there on defense. And Allen slapping five with him in the corner. Great respect. That's the hip check and a beauty. Yeah, it goes against Boom. So good at that. Be a one-on-one -on -one now for Texas. Is that Nash like? I know Nash left to go under the rim, but he used to play with guys on the foul line, didn't he? Nash a little bit. Chris Paul used to yeah. do that a lot. With that drop coverage defensively, you get the guard on your hip and basically dictate where you want to go. It's so hard to defend. Well, Rice and Bishop. Cunningham off the bench. Morris, all so important. If DeSue was not going to be able to go on Sunday, and I mean, it sounds like it'd be a real reach to think he'd be able to play. Less than 48 hours from tonight, his foot's in a boot. Gave it a shot, but yeah. I, I agree with you. He's got a stimulator there. And Iowa State, the Big 12 freshman of the year right here, transferring to Texas. 
What a presence he's been here. 19, by the way, now the leading scorer, leading five Longhorns in the double figures tonight. What a backcourt these two playing at this level. Nice Good pass ball. underneath for the basket, and that's Edwards. Timeout called by the Musketeers. A 30-second timeout, 74-57, Texas. Field goal percentage way off tonight. A combination of lack of depth and great defense by Texas. I think the Texas defense yeah. is the story there. How about Texas now, you know, by seed, they're the best seed still alive. As it goes ahead to Rice. Oh, he's going to swing that pass around the Bishop. Are they the favorites now as you go into the Elite Eight weekend? They have to be. Yep. They have to be. This team, too, too good, very talented. Just imagine the, the matchup between Texas and Miami Ooh, on Sunday. Okay. Miami team is way better than what they were seeded hey, playing. Hey, hey, oh, hey. that's Kunkel. He keeps playing. Program with a lot of dignity. Short-handed against the powerhouse right now, playing at their best, I think. Hunter to the corner to Rice. Three more. Wow. Ooh, well, that'll keep you with a little harmony. Spread the floor, spread the wealth. Sir Jabari Rice with 14 now on five of eight shooting. Uncle. He's only missed twice tonight from the field. Looked like Rice got banged up on that screen, limping a little bit, trying to get through that screen, but. Kunkel, eight out of ten, including five out of six from three. Look at Rice. <laughs> we do that to a lot of people. Here you see the brackets, what's left, and uh, one slot to be filled, and it's 345 away. That one's stolen by Kunkel. This team, little pressure, they will play. Good oh, oh, boy, is that? Indicative of the evening for Nunji, right? Began that way. I tell you, the matchup with Miami will be something to see as Hunter gets blocked that time. Bishop retrieves it, still got a shot clock going down to 10. Watch the lob. There is that lob and the miss as Bishop was coming down instead of going up at the time. If you talk about that matchup with Miami, the guard play is Nunji falls to the ground. But Carr, Hunter, first pack, and Wong. Both right. <laughs> teams spread the floor, got guys that can break you down. Range, right? Defend. It's not a matchup you think of a, a lot of times, you know. I, I mean, I actually did a Texas Miami game one time, January 1st, 1991, in the Cotton Bowl. Long time ago. <laughs> Long time ago. Texas fans would like to forget that one. That was back in the, when the U was uh, winning national championships in football. Nunji. Love that hug, Jim. Comes Over out there. with a nice round of applause by the Xavier fans. Had a great year, that kid. Took over. Freeman was injured. Plays earlier. Bishop thought he was fouled. No call. They're going to let it go with two and a half. Oh, nice steal. And what a foul with a trip. He's okay. What a read, though. He knows the game. Goodness. Texas on its way to its 29th win of the season. He hit those shots early, didn't he? Yeah, and that, that's the three outside perimeter guys doing a great job in that area. It's not a tough two either. Turn around. Yes. Love that's that. Kobe Jones with two more to his total. He is a gamer. Texas going to be in the Elite Eight for the first time since 08 when it lost to Memphis in the regional final. And of course, Memphis made it all the way to the championship night before losing in overtime to, to Kansas as Rice maneuvers half the round and comes back out to Kobe Jones. He can 
has two more. Puts him in double figures. Sean with the timeout. Think he might empty his bench here. No, I think he'll play it to the end. Nothing easy. Coaches in that league would say, hey, if we lost, you know, you're going to lose in this league. Just get ready for the next one. Well, what you're going to have in this matchup is Miami co-champs of the regular season in the ACC and on some sort of terrific roll right now. What a, an amazing performance tonight by Coach Larinaga's team. And then you got Texas that won the Big 12 tournament title in a blowout win over Kansas on this floor. It's a good matchup. Uh, they're going to stretch Texas defense, though, with the five out. There's a mere screening out top. Can block out the first row of any building. Grabbed <laughs> <laughs> on the floor, number 12. Now he's going to clear him out. Kunkel gets the hug and embrace, and the kid's torn up about it all coming to an end. Got to admire this kid. I mean, he just gives it all every practice, every game. Boom out as well. And there is Bishop scoring on the inside. Benjamin Kraft on the floor. He had a knee operation during the season. Really good shooter, too. Kobe with the discard. And Jones getting some late buckets here. That says it all. This is what this tournament can do to you. There's the thrilling moments, the buzzer beaters, all the celebration, but there's heartache too. Final 18 seconds on a most impressive night. Two more for Rice. What a valuable commodity that young guy is. 16 tonight as Texas. Is one step from going to Houston, Texas for the final four. They've got to take on a Miami team, though, that will be some kind of duel here in Kansas City. Coach Terry now 22 and 7 since taking over. Sporting News has already named him National Coach of the Year for what he did. And it was an impressive performance by the Longhorns this evening, no doubt about it. I think he's proven himself on the sidelines. Well, the kids play for him. You can see it. Yep, absolutely.